guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here this morning. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a 30 minute morning practice. We'll do some gentle stretching, a little bit of flow, cool down, and then in our final rest. This will be the first video that I'm sharing with you for a physical practice guided as I'm going along. And as you can see, I'm in a very <laughs> small controlled space. I'm not at a studio. I'm in the second bedroom in our home. So if you want to practice with me this morning, then just keep watching as we're still with the coffee. Okay. So we'll get started this morning, super gentle in a child pose. You'll bring your big toes into touch, taking your knees comfortably wide and then sinking heart and head towards the floor. You can pillow your hands as a resting point for the forehead or taking full expression. Let your arms extend long, palms down, bringing your forehead to rest on your yoga mat. As your forehead takes rest, gently rock through the head to the right and to the left, releasing tension held in the face, in the shoulders, to the heart. And then together we'll take three cleansing exhales, big breath in through the nose. Open mouth release. Two more like that, breathing in. Out through the mouth. Last time, in through the nose. And strong out through the mouth. Closure of your mouth, breathe in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils with the ujjayi breath. Now with the ujjayi breath, there's a gentle constriction that you place in the back line of the throat so that when you inhale and you exhale, there is ongoing sound, there is ongoing texture. The ujjayi breath will create a little bit of heat within the body. So if you find that you're becoming overheated, you can always cleanse the exhale or you come back to your child pose. Pressing into the finger pads, curl the hands, arms, shoulders over to the left and melt your forehead down to the mat. Take a big breath into your right rib cage. And with your exhale, pass through center, walking on the finger pads all the way over to the right. Melt the forehead down, bowing out the left rib cage. Take a full breath in, feel belly, ribs, heart. And with your exhale, pass back to child pose, finding your center. As you breathe in, we work up to tabletop. The hands, the knees, and the feet are on the same tracks. With your inhale, find cow pose, sending your heart forward, gaze forward. With your exhale, take cat pose, round out the spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. Two more together, breathing in, front body opens from the base of the chin to the low belly. And with your exhale, cat spine high through the middle of the back, opening up from base of skull to tailbone. Last time, breathing in. And breathing out. Firming into the base of your left palm, inhale, right arm high, open through the belly, the front ribs and the heart. When you exhale, Close off the chest, bring the right shoulder and right side of the skull to the floor. Two more, moving dynamically, inhale, right arm high. Gaze follows your right fingers. With your exhale, thread your needle, grounding through right shoulder. One more time together, big breath in. And complete your breath out. Moving on, inhale, right arm high. And with your exhale, spinal balance. Right arm forward as if you were shaking someone's hand, left leg extends long behind you. Draw the navel in towards your back body, knitting your front ribs in. As you stretch in opposition, plug the right shoulder into its socket and spiral your right pinky in towards your midline. Firming into the base of your left palm, breathe in deeply. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee, forearm to knee, or wrist to knee as the chin draws to the chest. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. One more time, inhalation. And exhalation, empty the lungs. Holding three, 
Hold the shape, but continue to move the breath. Two, and one, releasing tabletop. And then we explore that on our second side. Inhale, spiral the chest open. Exhale, thread your needle, left shoulder to the floor. Two more times, inhale, belly. Ribs and the heart, exhale, thread it through. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Moving on, inhale, left arm high. Gaze follows left fingers. Feel the spaciousness with your exhale, spinal balance. Left arm forward, right leg long behind you. Make sure that you switch sides. Extending out through five left fingers and kicking back through the right heel. Notice if you're crunching into the right side of the neck as you breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, shorten, close the front body, squeeze your belly towards your back. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Last time, breathing in and emptying out. Holding taut for three. Think of chest to the chin and chin to the chest. Polarity in action. Two, with your inhale, firm the right hand through the mat. And with your exhale, tabletop. A couple of rotations in both of the wrists, wash away. If this feels appropriate, press the back of either hand or both hands into the mat. If that goes over well, explore sinking your hips any degree back towards the heels, and that will bring more stretch and sensation into the wrists and the forearms. You can wiggle the fingers, relax the shoulders, breathe into your belly. Exhale, tabletop. Just a little more activation through the abdominal wall. Tucking your toes under and then hover your knees. With the hover of the knees, dome out to the upper back, tuck the chin towards the chest, and then plug into all 10 of your finger pads. Stay calm, stay with me. It's a two to three inch hover as you're pressing your hands through the yoga mat and protracting your shoulder blades away from your spine. Together we inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands, one hand print forward, lift your hips up, lengthen your spine, Relax through the head, the neck, and the shoulders. A couple of pedals into the heels. Maybe a few pulses with the chest. If you find tightness in the chest and the upper back, you can widen your feet, you can bend your knees. Take a bend knee down dog, and if it feels good, hang out with both of those variations. Shoulders down, spread fingers, I'm pressing into the knuckles of the palms, distribute the weight, distribute the strength. Together we breathe in, and with your exhale, walk your hands slowly back towards your toes. Once the weight finds your heels, inhale, halfway lift, heart energy forward, outward, shoulders draw down, and with your exhale, forward fold. Two more like that, breathing in, and emptying out. Really focus on the length of the spine. One more time, inhale forward. Exhale downward, relax the shoulders and the head. Keeping a bend in your knees, take your hands to your hip creases and head stays heavy. Ride the entire duration of the inhale as you start to roll the spine up and the head is the very last thing to lift. Once you find your stance, Tadasana Mountain Pose, your big toes draw together, Heart energy lift, palms reach down towards the floor. Feel stable, feel strong through the feet upwards all the way into the crown of the head and your hands draw together in Anjali Mudra prayer palms. Delicate pressure in the finger pads. And we take the next few rounds of breath to establish intention. And the collective intention that I'll be sharing for our practice today is exploring the body. Empowered by the breath, as we explore the body together, shape by shape, pose by pose. One more time, cleansing the exhalation. Take the right hand to the belly, left hand to the heart, deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Have a beautiful practice. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms sweep high. Palms touch if that feels good, maybe there's a little back bend, and with the exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your shin skin, your ankles, your finger pads might graze the floor. With your exhale, high plank. Journey the hands forward. Lower your shoulders in line with your hips. With your inhale, shift forward, shoulders in front of the wrist. With your exhale, pass through chaturanga, lower to the floor, smooth and slow. Tops of the feet press into your mat. Inhale, cobra pose, the heart, the neck, the head is the last thing to lift. It's progression. And with the exhale, lower down, hover the nose. And stay two more like that. Inhale, cobra, filling up from the belly. Exhale, lower down, hover the nose. One more time, breathing in. Little to no weight in the hands. With the exhale, lower down. Squeeze your elbows in, tuck your toes. With your inhale, tabletop or high plank. Reverse your chaturanga, a tricep push-up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times, breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands land on the shins. If that's not happening, find the thighs. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute, palms touch, maybe a little back bend with the exhale, hands to the heart. You stand at attention and center. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, same movements. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. We change it up this time and only lower halfway down, pinning the elbows into your side ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Notice the shins, knees, and thighs are off the ground. If this is too much, please modify and do a second round of cobra pose. With your exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips and send your heart back. Take a full breath in and complete your breath out. One more time, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, you walk or hop, feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, full breath in. Exhale, forward fold, relax on the dive down. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms up, little back bend if that feels good. Exhale, hands to the heart. Final round through our Sun Salutation A. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, big lift out of the waist, reaching fingers high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine, navel to back body. Exhale, pass through Chaturanga, lowering to the floor, or pause halfway down. Inhale, back bend of choice, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in, all your breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel where you're looking. Again, you walk or hop. Inhale, halfway lift, point of contact. Exhale, forward fold, relax and release. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands touch, maybe that little back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart, soften the gaze to center. Full breath in, full breath out. Then moving on to our next series. Building a little more heat in the body. Inhale, chair pose. Creasing at your ankles, bending into the knees and pressing the hips back. Check in, feel the low back body. If there's a big splay and bend in the back, lengthen your tailbone down, knit the front ribs in really strong, and then we lift the heart, the arms, maybe palms touch and the gaze is up. Hold steady and breathe with me. We have five. Kicking into the outer edges of the heels, stretching your yoga mat widthwise. Four, while drawing the inner knees towards the midline. Three. Keeping the shoulders down, two. Take a full breath in and send it low. Exhale, forward fold. You relax and release. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, Malasana, Garland Pose. Toes are out, the heels are in. Nice wide stance, low hips, the heart stays lifted. Once you've settled into the hips, collect your hands at your heart in Anjali Mudra, prayer palms. Inner shoulder blades squeeze in top to bottom. There's lovely length through the sides of the neck. The gaze draws downwards. As the elbows press into the knees, resist and squeeze the inner knees and in towards the elbows and triceps. Take a couple rounds of breath, choosing to hold still or working into the chest and shoulders. Drop right shoulder to the inside of the right knee and a big inhale, lengthen your arms. Spiral the belly, left ribs and the heart. Your inhale, arms lift up, center line with the exhale, left shoulder drops, heart spirals open. Inhale, arms lift up, lengthen your waist. Exhale, forward fold. Hands towards the mat, big toes draw in. Inhale, halfway lift. And using that fire that we've built in the core, we exhale to Bakasana Crow Pose. Bend your elbows back and bend your knees forward. Once you find the elbows and shins high along the triceps, start to lift your heels. Then one set of toes, trust the weight in the hands, squeeze your elbows in, second set of toes. Holding for three, maybe five, maybe eight rounds of breath, but for me, I'm in it for three. Palms pressing through the floor, two. A little bit of heat building and big inhale. Exhale, child pose. Same place that we started. Take the rest, balance the stress. Big toes together, hips back, couple rounds of breath together. And allowing your breath to energize your present moment, to steady the jumping heart, to steady the flickering mind. Only if you are ready, rise up to a tabletop and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Low lizard lunge. Walking your left leg back, press into the top of your left foot as you breathe in, right arm high. Gently twisting through the low belly. Then feel your ribs, feel your right collarbone. Maybe there's a little more trust, a little more lean back. If it feels good and it feels safe, Flex your right foot, roll on the pinky toe, and press your right hand to right inner thigh. Little more hip opening, little more heart opening. If your body is giving you the green light, explore the quad stretch. Take a deep bend in your left knee. The right arm arches up, back and around, catching through the top of the left foot. If it doesn't feel good or it causes the breath to become erratic and shallow, come back to the first option of opening or come back to the original expression. Both hands down to the floor. Couple rounds of breath. And just check in if you're dumping into the left shoulder. Keep the left side of the neck long. And slowly release your bind. Plant both hands to your mat. Big swivel, tuck your left toes. Wide leg forward fold. Toes are in, heels are out. So that opposite shape from when we were in our squat. With the exhale, release the hands, the arms, the head nice and heavy. If you'd like to explore the expansion of the chest, swim the arms back behind your body, interlace fingers, base of palms together. Any degree, begin to straighten the elbows and roll the knuckles forward, away from the skull. You might enjoy some gentle rotations. You might enjoy a static hold, but keep kicking into the outer edges of the heels, recruiting the lower half of the body, as opposed to dumping into your flexibility. Hang with me for the inhale. With your exhale, lower the hands and trace your fingertips slowly towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Align your shoulders with your hips. The heart and the front ribs are parallel to the floor. And take a big capital T of the arms, lateral extension, reaching strong to the right and left. If this is enough for back body strength, stay here. 
top through the belly, lift from the middle of the spine. If you'd like to explore a little bit more, swim the arms forward, biceps frame your face. Longer levers, a little more intense on the back body. Stay calm, stay steady for three, two, and one. With your exhale, low lunge. You come back to where we started and then step it back, tabletop. If you'd like to vinyasa through, you take the vinyasa from a high plank, shift forward, go halfway down, then into your up dog or your cobra pose, meeting in down dog. And then our second side, we step through from a tabletop, left foot outside of your left hand. Choosing to stay right here, you might decide to take the twist, left hand, left inner thigh. Make sure that you are flexing your left foot so the joints are safe. Spiral the heart, maybe quad stretch. Left arm, big arch, up, back, and around. Left hand catches the right foot. Take a couple rounds of breath. Again, notice any dumping through the right shoulder. Keep the right side of the neck long. Little squeeze at the shoulder blades can feel good. Spaciousness on the front. Maintenance with the Ujjayi breath as you unwind. Tuck your right toes, big pivot, wide leg, forward fold. Hands to your mat, toes stay in, heels kick out. And with the second time here, a little bit deeper, if and only if this is safe and appropriate, you're going to toe heel the feet wide, 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 maybe finding the small edges of your mat, maybe dropping to the elbows and forearms. If it's too intense, you stay upright on the feet in that original placement. We take five rounds of breath together. Playing with your edge, sensation, yes. Discomfort, maybe, but there is absolutely no pain. Nothing is sharp, shooting, or numbing in the body. Take two more rounds of breath. Make sure the pinky toes and the outer edges of the heels are anchored. One more round of breath. Whether it's elbows or hands, start to toe heel the feet back in towards one another. Find your finger pads, big inhale, halfway lift. And with your exhale, low lunge, bending into your left knee, hands draw forward. You can either go right back to your tabletop, or if you have a vinyasa practice, lowering down to chaturanga, back bend on your inhale, maybe some hang time, and exhale, down dog. Together we breathe in and we breathe out. So just a little bit of balance and then we'll be in complete cool down. Return to your tabletop. Plant the weight in your right hand. Kickstand your right toes. You want them off of your yoga mat onto the floor. Press into the right palm and as you breathe in, guide your left arm high and kick your left leg back. It's a kneeling Ardha Chandrasana or half moon. Kicking out through the left heel, engaging upward through the left palm. If you'd like a little back bend work, make sure that you have space and you're not in a dresser. You're going to bend your left knee, reach your left hand back, little kick up, kick back. More spaciousness on the front line of the body. Steady the gaze and steady the breath. Relax the jaw, check in with your brows. And follow one more inhale. Exhale, tabletop. And just feel the echo of that. Feel whether the sensation is concentrated or widespread. Washing it away to prepare for second side. Inhale, cow pose, you've been here before. And with your exhale, cat pose. One more time, breathing in and emptying it out. Remember full capacity of the lungs, maintaining the constriction in the back line of the throat. Bear the weight in your left palm, kickstand your left toes, guide them off of your yoga mat. As you breathe in, send your right arm high, kick your right leg back. The right heel might even lift higher than outer right hip, that's more glute, more strength. If right here is sufficient, let this be your work, but if you'd like the back bend, kneeling, chopasana, 
Bend into your left knee, a little sugar cane pose. Catch the top of your right foot, kick up, kick back, and really send the heart forward, breathing deeply into the belly. Exploring the breath and the appropriate sensation. Hang with it for three. Allowing the prana to move, the energy in the body to move. Two and one. Slowly release. Right hand, right knee down. And just take a moment to pause. Just felt change in the body. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. From a neutral table, cross at the ankles and extend your legs out long in front of you. Let's anchor into the sitting bone. So you can do that effectively by swaying the hips right and left or scoot the flesh of the buttocks out of the way. Feet flex, heels kick out with your in-breath, Urdhva Hastasana, upward hands. There's life in the fingers. Exhale, we forward fold. If there's any sensitivity in the low back, we can go bend into the knees, flat feet. Just take a little more support in your forward fold using the legs. Otherwise, leaning forward, heart forward. Feel deep crease on the hips. Couple rounds of breath. As we navigate through the forward fold, we're calming the nervous system and already preparing for Shavasana, our final rest. Hold onto the hands, press them into the floor. Let your spine roll. The shoulders draw back, the neck and head lift and stack. Bend into your knees, slide your hips forward and plant your hands behind your hips, all 10 fingers forward so your rotators are safe. With your inhale, reverse your tabletop. We counter the opening of the back body by strengthening the back and opening the front. Only if it feels safe, let the head drop back and the shoulders create a shelf for the back of the skull. The belly is breathing and the shoulder blades are squeezing in top to bottom. Really drive into your heels and press into your ball mounds. Let the breath move. Let the belly breathe. And you hold the shape without negating the choice of the constricted throat and the relaxed face. If it helps to tease a little more height out of the hips, squeeze your glutes and hang with me for one more inhale. Exhale, lower the hips down. Keeping your knees bent, arms extend forward. Inhale, lift your heart. With your exhale, begin to recline down onto the back. Slow if you want the core work or quickly if you're ready to call it. Once you're on your back body, do a little self-assist for your cervical spine. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Wrap the forearms in towards the temples. Lift up and tuck the chin to the chest. Now the head is dead weight, but we're using the upper body strength. Little twist. And then when you're ready on an exhale, lower down. This will ensure that your chin is below the forehead. Bending your knees, walk your heels in close to your glutes, arms long at your sides with your inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips and your heart and with the exhale, lower down. Little dynamic movement. This is also calming for the nervous system and preparing us for Shavasana. Only as slow or as fast as you're breathing, the inhale lifts you up. And there's a little pause at the top. Relax your glutes, make sure you're not gripping for dear life. With the exhale, lower your hips and hands down. Let's take two more together. Inhale. And exhale. If you're breathing a little slower or faster than my cues, honor your pace. Last time, inhale. And there's patience as you move through space and you move through the shapes. With the exhale, lower down. Toe heel the soles of the feet together, let your knees splay wide, right hand on the belly, left hand towards the heart. Take a couple rounds of breath and just tune in to your environment. Tune in to the present moment.
And for the next few moments, you let go of the process of moving so that you can begin to receive stillness. And you're just surrounded by your morning. If and only if you are ready, take hands to the outer thighs, help close off the hips, and toe heel your feet wider than your hips, little windshield wipe around the legs. Let your arms open up in a big gold post or diamond shape them overhead. If it feels safe on the neck, whichever way the knees fall, look to the opposite side of the room. Maybe the eyes close altogether, a little more trust, drawing inwards. And before we take a forward fold, take hands to the low back or just above your butt. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling, point your toes. Take a breath in, really press the low back down, squeeze navel to spine, and with your exhale, begin to lower your legs. Any degree, it's only to the amount that the low back can stay firmly planted. Last bit of fire, last bit of effort, hang with me. If you need to cleanse the exhale, open mouth and let it go, we have five. Allowing the body to breathe and shake for four. Welcome it in, wrap the inner thighs down, really point through the toes, it's three. And two, patiently explore the body as you breathe in. Exhale, hug your knees into your heart and then draw them wide, happy baby pose. Happy baby pose, the knees are wider than your rib cage. You can catch the bottoms of the feet the shins or wrap the hands behind the thighs. If it feels good, a soothing cradle. Sway to the right and to the left. Hands to the knees, maybe some small circles. You can extend and bend, lengthen and shorten. Now, at this time in your practice, if there is anything that feels left untouched, undone, there's final poses or sensations that you'd like to take, please self-study and you practice them now. If there is nothing left to do at this time, you will slowly make your way into Shavasana, your final rest. For me personally, I am going to use a blanket to pad the neck and the head. Chin below the forehead. And for the sake of this video, we'll hold space for Shavasana a matter of five minutes. But if you'd like a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, feel free to grab your phone at this time and throw a timer on for the amount that feels good for you and then press pause on the video and we can link back up after your Shavasana. Traditionally, the arms and the legs extend long. The backs of the hands take rest on the ground and there's a natural curl that runs through the fingers. Let your shoulders roll underneath your chest. Any final fidgets or adjustments? And it's in your final Shavasana that you absorb everything that you've just done. That you allow your nervous system to process. Together we cleanse the exhale to support the settling of your energy as well as the energy in your space. Take a slow and deep breath in and complete breath out. And with that, may you enjoy your time in final rest. May you enjoy your time in chosen ease.
from your precious state of rest. When you breathe in, you feel that you are breathing in. And when you breathe out, you feel that you are breathing out. You utilize the state of connection between the head, the heart, and the body. In order to deliver conscious change, you bring movement into the tongue as you lick your lips and swallow. Bring life into your 10 fingers, brushing the thumbs against finger pads. Rotating the wrist as you begin to press out through the ball mounds, point and flex the feet, and rotate the ankles. And as if you are awakening for the first time today, take a full body stretch, reaching in opposition. Anchor your low back into your mat and hug your knees sweetly into your heart. It's a slow roll over to fetal pose on your right side. We roll to the right to close off the yang channel in the body, allowing the yin, the cooling side, to open. Take three rounds of conscious breathings. Take personal responsibility. And upon completing your third exhalation, you slowly join me upright in a comfortable seat. And as you make your way upright, taking advantage of the spaciousness in the body, feel your ears above your shoulders, shoulders stacking above the hips. Unite your hands in Anjali Mudra at the heart space. Soft bow of the chin to the chest. With this blending of head, heart, and hands, we acknowledge what is perhaps the most ancient intention of our yoga practice, which is rooted in the teachings of metta, loving kindness. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace and walk through this life with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice is continuous, your heart steady, and your mind calm. Together we cleanse the exhalation one last time, breathing in slow and smooth. 
Breathing out, let it go. And if you'd like to join me, we inhale to chant the sacred sound of Om. Big breath in. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close this morning practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Thank you so much for being here and taking part in this morning's video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm planning on uploading videos every day, if that's reasonable and realistic, as over the next two weeks, I will not be working as all of the yoga studios that I do teach at have closed due to the coronavirus. We just want everybody to be safe and healthy and still keep up with their practice. So again, thank you so much for being here. Have a lovely day, stay productive, stay healthy, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.